Hello YouTubers, welcome to another video. I'm getting quite used to making these videos, uh, so hopefully you guys are enjoying. Check my other videos as well. I even got a video with almost a thousand views, so that's really good. My daughter would be proud of me because uh, she's a wannabe YouTuber. Uh, so today I've got a Biodynamics 70, DT770 or 7070 Pros. Yeah, <laughs> let me say that again. Uh, Biodynamic DT70 <laughs> 770 Pros. That's what I got here, you know. Um, so a bit of background. Why do I have these headphones? You know, I use them mainly for... Um, you know, playing uh, bass guitar and guitar and whatnot when, you know, my neighbors are very grateful <laughs> that I have this. Um, but, uh, you know, I got drawn to these because you know, there's a lot of reviews out there saying that these sound amazing, best headphones ever, you know, not too expensive. You know, this cost me about 130 quid. Um, they're not too expensive. <laughs> it's certainly not as expensive as you can get with uh, audio equipment. Um, these are like the uh, special edition, so meaning that they got the black pla black pads. You know, I kind of like the black pads. The normal ones got like this uh, silver gray pad, which is okay, but the <laughs> black pads look a little bit more fancy, uh, in my opinion. And I think that's the only difference. This is the 80 ohm version, so um, uh, they do a 32 uh, ohm version. They do a 250 ohm version as well. Uh, there's plenty of reviews of these online. So today I just wanted to share my opinion of these. Uh, so what drew me to these was like, you know, a lot of people talking about the bass extension on these, that the bass is so good and like it's the best bass ever and it leaves all the Sennheisers and everyone else in the dust um, and all that kind of stuff. And I can say that the bass on this is really good. But we'll get back to that in a minute. The bass is really good, but we'll get that back to that in a minute. Another thing was the um, the airiness. You know, there's there's quite a few people saying like, you know, these sound so open that they, they don't. They sound so open, like almost like a, an open back uh, headphone. Uh, and it's true, they sound really open. You know, the sound is just everywhere uh, with these. Um, so yeah, so, so because of that, I was like, okay, I'm going to give him a try. Um, and I was almost returning them. More on that in a minute. So, um, comfort-wise, uh, they are very comfortable. They're like super com comfortable. You know, they're quite large, as you can see. This is uh, metal here. This is like from plastic, wannabe leather kind of thing. The pads are velour. There's enough space in the pads to take your, your ears in. Um, and it, I can wear these for quite a long time without any fatigue or, or whatnot. Um, so this is how they look. This is how they look when you put them on. They look they look okay, you know. Um, I wouldn't uh, shy away from taking these outdoors if a uh, push came to shove. Uh, because, you know, they look like they look that bad, you know, um, and, you know, they don't look horrible. Uh, they, they look quite cool, especially with the black uh, pads, I think. Uh, Construction-wise, they're okay. I mean, the, as I said, the metal there is all this is plastic and whatnot. They come with a really long cable, right? Because these are, these are not meant to be, like, commuter uh, headphones, really. So they come, like, with a three meter cable, I think, with the, one of these, or a 6.6, well, a quarter inch, a quarter jack, and then a 3.5 millimeter. Uh, so it's a screw on kind of a thing, and that's really good, because that goes onto your amp, um, guitar amp really well. Um, right, so, so yeah, so they are really, really comfortable. You know, you put them on and the, they just feel really nice. I think the uh, the velour pads add a little bit of extra comfort on there. They don't get hot or anything like that. Um, the cable is nice and sturdy. Unfortunately, it's not detachable. And I stepped on the cable a couple of times, right? You know, because when I'm fooling around with the guitar and stuff and I'm moving around, I step, 
And uh, you know, I keep getting concerned that this is going to get damaged and <laughs> whatnot. So maybe I just got to be more careful. Um, right. So um, that's the comfort. They're really comfortable, right? And they're not fairly good looking. I, I think they had this style since well, I don't know they came out like decades ago. I think. Um, now the sound, <laughs> which is I'm sure what you guys are interested in. Uh, the sound is okay, right? Um, I think we have to make a distinction here. As headphones to play bass guitar and to play guitar and, you know, just fool around with, with, with instruments, they're amazing. Absolutely amazing. You know, the bass on this is like amazing. You know, you're playing bass and you just pluck the strings and it just goes really deep and, and amazing. Really, really good. Same thing with the guitar. Sound really amazing. Um, so if that's what you're into, then yeah, go, go ahead and, and get a pair of these. But, you know, for me, for listening to music, you know, I got, I just, a few days ago, I got my uh, L30 topping amp. Um, so I was really, because I was using this with 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 my uh, Ico Zero there. I think you know my my kind of a dongle uh, with my phone. I was using it with the laptop and stuff, and I wasn't you know too uh, um, impressed with the sound. You know, the bass when when the tracks are bassy, you can definitely feel the bass. It can definitely feel like a, an extension to the bass, and and, and the bass is really there. Uh, the vocals are okay, but the highs are really a little bit shaky, right? The, the highs are, the, you know, if you're sensitive to highs, you're probably not going to like this too much. I certainly don't like this too much when I'm listening to music. But I thought, well, maybe they just need a uh, an amplifier. So I got this uh, uh, L30, uh, Toppings L30 headphone amp. It's supposed to be really good and whatever and it is. Uh, so I was like really excited. Yes, this is going to sound good now. And I put them in and I was disappointed. I was just disappointed, right? So these are not for listening to music. Not to me anyway. You know, you might have a different preference. Uh, you might like how they sound for listening to music. But for me, these are definitely not headphones for listening to music. It's not the kind of headphone that you put on and the music is just smooth and nice and engaging and musical and emotional and all that kind of stuff, which is, you know, we listen to music for pleasure, right? Not to say that you can hear a lot of stuff and it's all very clear and whatnot and on bass heavy tracks, you know, the bass is really there, but it's just a little bit thin, you know, the music lacks, it's just thin, it's, oh, what can I say? Um, but when you connect this to a, a, a guitar amp and uh, and you start playing through these, you know, it's amazing, you know, amazing. So I was kind of deciding, should I keep these? Should I keep these? Should I keep the, you know, because I'm not going to be listening to any music with these, that's for sure. I, I tried, I can't, you know. Um, even with the amp, whatever, it doesn't matter. It just, it's just the sound isn't musical enough, you know, for my ears. Um, so I was, to, I was like, oh, you know, you know, the return window is uh, the, uh, closing. Should I keep them? Should I not keep them? And I decided to keep them because they're amazing. If you want to play instruments with them, they really are, you know. So if you use a guitar amp, bass guitar, guitar, whatever, and maybe even drums, um, I think they would work lovely with drums. Um, yeah, just get a pair of these. These are amazing. Really, really amazing. Um, for that purpose. And I guess, you know, that's what they're made for. Yeah, they're made like for monitoring, studio, whatever. They're not necessarily made for listening to music. So they do what they're supposed to do. Uh, whether you want to listen to music with these or not, well, that's up to you. Uh, yeah, I don't know what, you know, people's have different tastes in the, the, the different expectations when, when it comes to listening to music, but these, I don't have fun listening to music on these. I just don't. But I have fun playing music through these, if that if that makes any sense, right? So, you know, <laughs> I've got these babies here, which are my, 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 my kind of a favorite kind of a music-oriented oriented, um, kind of a 
That's the Momentum 3s, Sennheiser Momentum 3s. <laughs> These sound amazing. I, I can listen to music for hours on this, you know. I've I, I got this amp now and they sound even better, you know. So, so I'm like, oh yes, I'm like, wow. I, I love, love listening to music on this. I just love listening to music on this. It's, it's for one, the highs are piercing. Two, it's all the sound is all a bit thin. Uh, three, the bass is there. If the track is he he bass heavy, then you, you notice it. But on a lot of tracks, there isn't even that much bass. Um, so yeah, so that's my take on the biodynamics. Seventies. <laughs> I can't I can't say that. that. But DT770 Pros, the 80 ohm versions. So, to wrap up, if you want a pair of headphones to play music, guitar, bass guitar, drums, if you want a pair of headphones to do that, and you love the bass, because these <laughs> sound really good with, with, with some bass guitar, yeah, that's a thumbs up. If you're looking for a pair of headphones to enjoy music, to just sit down and just enjoy music and feel the emotion and whatever. No, to me, no. So thank you very much uh, for watching this video. Check my other videos out and uh, I see you around.